What's up YouTube? I kind of have a bigger project for next week's video, but YouTube tends to ding you if you don't upload every week, so... Hey, I'm just here so I don't get fined. But regardless of that, it's probably one of the pieces of equipment that I try to convince most of the other guys I work with to use. There is not a shift that goes by that I'm not using it, and unlike other products and claims that companies make, this equipment actually makes you safer. Honestly, the only issue I'm gonna have with today's equipment is I have no idea how to put a visual review of it to music. It's a very, very boring piece of equipment and not a lot of people care about what this equipment's gonna look like. They're gonna care more about the function of the equipment, which is ultimately the most important. I'll figure that out at the end. It's probably gonna look stupid, but I don't care. So today we're gonna go over the Bright Strike Rotocam, Quick Cam, I don't know. Bright Strike, what's it, Rotocam? What the f is this? Quick Cam Roto Lock. Quick Cam Roto Lock Holster. I don't, it's a holster for your flashlight. That is all this thing does. However, like ASP, holders, this thing will rotate 360 degrees. I have found a ton of uses in the field for this holster. Also, it leaves the flashlight somewhat exposed. You can get to the body of it and get it off your belt quicker than those typical leather or safari land holsters where that flashlight's dug pretty far deep down into the holster. So what this thing looks like, I'll show you on my duty belt here, you can see that the body is exposed. I can't get this off now because it actually has a locking mechanism, which is nice. The whole body of the flashlight is exposed. So when you're trying to get this out in a stressful situation or you're just trying to get it to it quickly, you just flip this lock that's on the side and it comes right out of the holster. Putting it back in the holster is as simple as getting the bezel into this little foot area and it clicks right back in. So in and out. It's that easy. And you can choose to use this locking mechanism if you wish. The size it takes up on your belt, which I know is important to all of us, um, I'm getting it in between here, a handcuff holder and a taser. Actually, I have a little key spacer there as well. But the size, I mean, the, the actual attachment on your belt is only about an inch and a half, I would say. Um, actually, two inches of space on your belt. Flipping it around, the attaching mechanism, another nice thing. If you have this on the hook side of your belt, which we all can sympathize with, trying to get off all the equipment to make an adjustment on this. We don't have to do that because you can actually release this item like that. So it can go on and off your belt wherever you wish. So looking closer at the flashlight holder, it's somewhat not typical. Most of the time we're wearing these leather tubes on our belt and this end of the flashlight will kind of fit right down in. Um, what is different I don't know where the hell that came from. What is different about this is it's exposed. Most small tactical flashlights will fit in this. What Bright Strike lists on their website as far as fitment is any small tactical flashlight, preferably theirs, obviously. However, I like Streamlight and this fits perfectly. But they list a bezel width of 1.2 inches as the compatible width and a diameter of an inch. I have the Streamlight Stryon LED HL, which is basically just a Streamlight Stryon, and this fits perfectly. I mean, it, it feels like the, the holder was made for this. Durability, I've had this two years and haven't had an issue with it. It is a rotating holster, so you can rotate your light like this, and I'll show some video of how that's advantageous for us in the field a little bit later. The only other light that I have to show you compatibility wise right now is the light that I use on my SWAT uh, combat belt. So that's here. Um, here it is. This light is the original Streamlight Scorpion. Uh, we're all probably familiar with that. Um, has a full rubber body. It is definitely shorter than my Stryon. So here they are in comparison. But you can see these lights are are definitely different and kind of size-wise. Still a small tactical light that they claim on their website will fit this holster. When you throw it in here, it fits. Up next, I'm gonna go into some video of this equipment on my belt and 
using it in the field. Obviously, these are staged scenarios that I did on my lunchtime. However, it will show kind of in the real world how this piece of equipment functions. So to sum it up, if you have one of the flashlights that I mentioned that will fit this holster, you should buy this. This is one of the items where I tell people all the time they should buy this. This is such a useful piece of equipment. You do not have to buy their flashlights. Streamlights will fit in this. Surefires will fit in this. Anything that fits those, those diameter specifications will fit this. I have not found another company that does this. If you know of one, certainly put those in the comments. Slap this on your belt, use it for years, and you're going to find a use for it every single night, especially if you're on night shift. <laughs>